There used to be a time when we were fine, living life with no particular religious bent. Pretending to be our own gods, inventing our own systems of belief so as to not depend on anything other than our own self-governing consent. Defending an impending doom with no perceived need to concede or repent. Presuming our innocence and a sense to sin, this thing of death was only the inevitable end of everything we could ever rightly understand or comprehend. You severely unknown till God made himself known and its own mending the relationship between God and man. Giving his life as a ransom for many when he died and ascended. And in that one event, the certainty of eternal death was circumvented, making a way for the day when history stops and time suspends, spending eternity in fellowship that never ends. You see the greatest expression of God's love extended in that moment when those who were once enemies instead became God's friends. It is my time to go. Go ahead and take me home. I know I'll be with you. I know I'll be with you. Knowing nothing can come against me unless the Father gives consent. Evil intentions will not deserve God's purposes or interfere. So who shall I fear if my anchor is secure? I'm learning to consider a pure joy when I'm facing tribulations. Praising God instead of complaining and getting overtaken with bitterness. Looking at the pages of the book of James and seeing the ways that God works through the trials to make us more mature in our faith. It reminds me how desperate I am in this desert land. Thirsty for your mercy and plan while you're giving it strength to stand. You're my greatest pleasure. Yeah, no matter the weather I face, Lord, you never forsake my fragile life is safe for your sovereign grace. just like your parents. You are okay with mediocre. Your product, your grades, they mediocre. And the best you've ever been and ever will be is so-so. Homie, this ain't a movie. You might go bankrupt and fail like the rest of us. You scared like I am. And I've grown irrelevant. Like, is this really happening? Am I still rapping? Still doing the same thing I was doing when I was 15? You scared that you only give because it's a tax write-off. Or to Africa to prove you ain't racist. Hey, when's the last time you gave a gardener a cup of water? I don't even know our groundskeeper's name and I bought the word the name tag. You scared. But you born eagles walking among chickens. As if these agitated shoulder blades ain't never sprouted wings. I was recently told I was too creative. Shook me to the core. Because I have no excuse for fear. Should be roller skating around Saturn, looking down at satellites, flying. And if you mustered up the bravery, you'd get this one day. See, we fooled you. This ain't a show, this right here is a runway. Why you ain't flying? You will need a ship is illegitimate. They don't think it's necessary to play by the rules of so submit. They see authority as nothing more than a power trip. They don't want to be plugged into it. They try to see that power strip. Shit, power strip. It's unfortunate, disproportionate. It's draws the wide open for false teachers to twist the truth and destroy it. No examples left to follow. Left to all the minds. Acting foolish, but we'll see it for a while. In the whole lives. The life of crucifixion of Christ is a 